What is up guys, Red Leaf Tech coming back at it with another video and today we're going to be talking about the HTC Nexus 9 which is an Android tablet that's been out for just over a year now so I've had it in the house for over a year and I'm going to let you guys know what I think about it. So without further ado, here's the HTC Nexus 9 review. So first of all guys, to kick things off, I am rocking the 16GB Wi-Fi only model in white. Now this guy has a very soft grippy backing which feels great in the hand but on the dark blue model looks like it could pick up some nasty oily fingerprints. So that's why I went with the white model. And also on the front you have a black bezel surrounding the display which I much prefer over a white bezel when I'm doing things like playing a game or watching a video. So taking a look around the tablet. On the top, you're going to find your 3.5mm headphone jack. Along the left-hand side, you're going to find a blank, empty metal band. On the bottom, you have your micro USB port and a microphone. On the right-hand side, you're going to find your volume rockers, power button, and your second microphone. Now, in terms of these buttons, they do sit quite flush uh, to the body of the Nexus 9, so they will get quite mushy over time, but luckily HTC has added a double tap to wake, wake feature which should negate some power button clicks. Along the front you're going to find a 1.2 megapixel camera, but really if you're taking selfies with your tablet, just stop, like right now. Along the back, you're going to, you're going to find your Nexus branding and an 8 megapixel rear-facing camera with a flash, but again, don't be that guy taking pictures of this tablet. I'll hunt you down. Just don't do it, please. In terms of software experience with this guy, it ships out of the box with Android 5.0 Lollipop but is upgradable to Android 6 Marshmallow now that it is out. Now, halfway through its life cycle, the Nexus 9 got an update to Android 5.1.1, which was pretty terrible. I found myself finding a lot of bugs, my tablet was crashing, it wasn't working, and I got really frustrated, so I was really looking forward to the Marshmallow update and I was pleasantly surprised to know that they really fixed and ironed out those bugs that were in Android 5.1.1. Android Marshmallow has very little to offer in terms of tethering towards tablets. The experience you find here is very similar to what you will find on stock Android phones, which is a bit, which is a bit of a letdown. Uh, one thing it did add in is when you pull down the notification tray, rather than coming down in the middle, it will come down on the side you pulled it down from, which is a nice change from Lollipop. So the screen on the Nexus 9 is an 8.9 inch IPS display with a resolution of 1536 by 2048 giving it a pixel density of 281 ppi. So it's not the sharpest display on the market and it won't be able to compete with tablets like the Samsung Galaxy Tab S but it has great viewing angles and is a fairly good screen and I don't think you'll, you'll be disappointed. Now this guy has a 4x3 aspect ratio which does from the front make it look a lot like an iPad and when I went to class I had people asking me how I liked my new iPad and I was like well, it's not an iPad but it is a Nexus so I can teach you about it I can tell you about the beauty of Android anyways I do prefer the 4x3 aspect ratio because I find it's a lot more natural and comfortable to hold because coming from this tablet I came from the Microsoft Surface the original Surface uh, with a 16x9 aspect ratio and I found it very awkward and wide to hold. It was great for watching videos, but it's very awkward to hold, especially in portrait. It's just a lot more natural to hold the Nexus 9. So paired up with that fairly nice display on the front, you will find dual front-facing speakers on this guy, which I absolutely have fallen in love with. They get very loud, and just having the audio being shot towards you when you're trying to watch a video or consume media, it's just so much more immersive and it just makes the experience much better and I don't know how I'll ever be able to go back to not having dual front facing speakers. It's absolutely amazing. So if you're considering picking a Nexus 9 up for yourself, you should note that on the Google Play Store the 16GB model goes for $429 and you can double up your storage for an extra 100 bucks to get that 32GB model. Now this is a fairly decently priced tablet for what it is as it competes with the iPad Air 2 which goes for $499 for that base model. So in terms of value, you're getting it here with the Nexus 9. 
So in conclusion, the Nexus 9 is a great all-around tablet with a great build quality, great design, great software experience, and is an easy recommendation. So guys, with that said, that's it for me, Red Leaf Tech, signing off. Peace out.